Hey guys. So if you guys have not seen my reaction to Unbreakable, I will link it across the screen. But I figured since I mentioned that I saw The Sixth Sense and Split in that reaction, I might as well react to The Sixth Sense and Split pitch meetings. If you stay tuned to the next reaction, I will be reacting to The Split pitch meeting. But without further ado, let's hop into my amazing intro and then into the reaction. You have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. It's called The Sixth Sense. Oh, which one is The Sixth Sense? Is it smell? That's no, we only have five senses. That's kind of the point. Right, right, right. So which one's the fifth? You know, I think it could be whichever one you want, as long as the sixth one is the one we're talking about in this movie, you know, ghost detection. Oh. Yeah. Wow, okay. So I could say that smell is the fifth and that's fine? It's not important. Oh, okay, sorry. See, because in this movie's universe, some people can see dead people. Oh, very spooky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what happens in the movie? Well, we're going to meet this child psychologist, Malcolm Crow, right? Oh, maybe we could get Bruce Willis to play him. Oh, yeah, you think? Yeah, I'm told he's just about to stop caring, so this might be Damn. one of the last movies where he you know, tries. Oh, well, perfect. Honestly, though, he just has to act surprised like twice and then he could just stone face the rest. I'm sure he'll be glad to hear it. Great. Was that really the situation? Did he really fall off then? I feel like he was still on the roll of doing good. Really? Maybe it's because I have a little soft spot for Bruce Willis back in the day, but I don't know breaks into his house, right? And he's like, you failed me. So then he shoots Malcolm and himself. Oh my God, in what order? In, you know, the only one that makes sense. Right, okay. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna have to cast somebody really creepy looking for that part. Any ideas? I could probably get one of the new kids on the block to lose 45 pounds and do it. Oh, extremely specific, sounds great. So what happens, does Malcolm die? Well, that's the whole thing, he is. Wait, was that dude really from New Kids on the Block? Oh no, let's see. I never knew who the kid was that was playing that character. <gasps> Get the fuck out of here. No way. Okay. But we're only going to reveal that at the end of the movie because he doesn't know he's dead. Oh, very cool. Yeah, so then we jump forward to the next fall. How long is that after the incident? Unclear. There was no defined starting point, so anywhere between one month and 12. Well, okay then. <laughs> and now Malcolm has tracked down this kid that's like a similar case to the guy who broke into his house. How did he track this kid down? I don't know. Fair enough. So he's sitting outside <laughs> this kid's place waiting for their appointment. How did anyone make appointments if he's a ghost? Well, it happened off screen or something, so so we don't even have to think about it. Oh, that's pretty helpful. So anyway, it turns out that this kid is able to, you know, see ghosts. Oh, and what's his name? Cole. Uh... Seer. Did you just come up with that last name on the spot? <laughs> yeah, totally forgot to give him a last name, but that works, right? Sure. So Malcolm wants to help this kid since he failed that other guy, but Cole doesn't really want to open up. Okay. But Malcolm just keeps showing up for this kid, you know, when he gets in trouble at school, when he ends up in the hospital. How does he find out about those things if he's a ghost? Unclear, off screen. Okay, I kind of feel like we need some explanation for the ghost stuff. Oh, I feel like when I was watching this, again, it was spoiled, so I kind of knew, like, how, the you know, the fact that Bruce Willis' character was actually dead the entire time. I do find it kind of interesting when I was looking back at it, there is a time where in the film they do play back all the scenes where he was in it with other people and what the people actually saw compared to what he saw and I thought that was pretty impressive. I know for a fact that when I was watching I did have a lot of questions like if this dude is actually dead how are these things taking place if he actually does not exist and yet a kid sees dead people so it makes sense for him to see that he's there, but like how is everything else happening if he's actually dead? Like some things made sense, some things didn't. Ultimately, it still was a great experience to watch it because I thought it was a really good film. But, you know, you start asking questions and things kind of start to fall apart. Actually, Cole is going to explain to Malcolm that ghosts don't know that they're dead and they just see what they want to see. Oh, very vague. It is. So then this other thing that Malcolm's going to do to bond with Cole is this silly magic trick with a penny. With, with 
a penny so ghosts can move stuff around? Oh, they sure can. Cole's grandma keeps putting this bee pendant in his drawer. So when Malcolm is doing his penny trick, is there just a penny floating in front of Cole? Maybe, or maybe he's just seeing a penny because he wants to see a penny, or maybe he died with some change in his pocket. So, so his change might have died too? Maybe. He does take the bus later. Oh, ghost cash. We're also going to have this thing where Malcolm's wife isn't talking to him, and he's going to think it's because their relationship's going bad. But if ghosts only see what they want to see, wouldn't he see his wife talking to him? Sir, I'm going to need you to get all the way off my back about these ghost rules. <laughs> it's just that see what they want to see is so very, very vague. Well, I need vague explanations to use as patchwork for the plot, because this whole thing is just pointed towards the twist ending. Oh, it is? Yeah, there's not much in this movie that's not about, you know, trying to pull a fast one on people. Oh, pulling a fast one is tight. I'm married, though, so I don't think I could personally do that to people in the audience. No, it means to Jeez. surprise people. Oh, even better. So anyway, throughout the movie, Sad. we're going to have some ghosts pop up once in a while. Oh, very spooky. Yeah, they're going to be real spooky. Like, Cole is going to see some ghosts hanging in his school. So so based on the rules, those ghosts want to be hanging? The back, sir. Please get off of it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to understand. Eyes on the twist, please. This barely matters. Okay, eyes on the twist. I got you. That's true. It really didn't matter. A lot of the reason why I didn't want to watch this film when I was younger, when it first came out, was because it definitely creeped me out. As I got older, I realized, ah, it's not that bad. But when I saw that imagery of the kids... Well, that family hanging in the school i was like uh no i can hold off from watching this film it's not that serious malcolm is gonna start to believe that cole can actually see ghosts because he didn't really think it was true what makes him start to believe well he listens to an old recording of a session with that old patient dude and he hears that when he left the room a ghost was talking to him how did that get recorded does the recorder have the sixth sense too i guess it does wow 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 so then malcolm goes to cole like hey you should just try listening to these ghosts maybe that's maybe that's something oh have they just been trying to talk to him actually they've been extremely hostile oh my God. But then this one ghost girl shows up and she's all pukey. Very gross. Yeah, and so Cole really is like, gross. do you want to tell me something? And then it turns out that she died because her mom was poisoning her. Man, well, it's going to be hard to help with that. Actually, it's going to be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, it turns out that her funeral's happening like the very next day. So they go there and then she gives them a videotape of evidence. The ghost does this? She does. <laughs> it turns out she filmed her mom poisoning her. She got it on tape. If she had this videotape, why didn't she try to use that while she was alive to, you know, not die. Well, well, maybe she didn't know she filmed it. Which would mean she watched it as a ghost. Look, this whole plot point is just here so Cole can feel good about himself and we could get moving to the twist, okay? Oh, okay, so this is where Cole's story arc ends? Yeah, he feels good because he's gonna help ghosts from now on. How's he gonna help them if they don't have, you know, easily solvable murder cases with hard evidence at hand? Unclear. Well, okay then. And then we're gonna have the twist Jeez. ending where Malcolm finds out that he's a ghost and he's gonna be like, well, I guess I'm ready to fade to white now. And so then he does. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, so what do you think? Well, it sounds like a great twist. It's just a little crazy that the whole movie is existing just to justify it. Yeah, well, I figure this is kind of a one-off kind of movie. You know, it wouldn't be sustainable to make this our thing. Right, that would be nuts. So funny enough, I never saw a lady in the water. Never really cared to. Now I kind of want to. But it wasn't like one of those films that I needed to see because it was an M. Night Shyamalan film. It looked kind of weird. And I was just like, I'm not even about that life. Again, Ryan George does a thing where you ask certain questions and it's like, damn it, you're right, Ryan. You're totally right. Like, it really doesn't really make a lot of sense, but nostalgia's kicking in, you know? It's kicking in and I'm like, you know what? Despite the fact that if I was to watch it again and remembering the things that he did say, I would be like, you know what? That really doesn't make any damn sense. Wait, this whole thing is happening because of this? Why would, I still like the film, okay? I do. So thanks a lot, Ryan, for pointing out the things that don't make sense in this film. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you really like it, definitely subscribe. Let me know in the comments below, were you a fan of The Sixth Sense? Did you think that this was like one of the films that Bruce Willis started to do before he started to not care? I didn't think that that was a thing that was happening back then. I think he started to not care when Die Hard started going into live free Die Hard. Like, what the hell? But also, did you think that the twist or the film made sense leading up to the twist? Like, is there are certain things that you were watching when you were younger? Watching it, did you think that some things didn't really make much sense either? Just because they're trying to build up the suspense of the big reveal? Let me know, I'll be really interested in reading what you guys think. Also, if you guys love my face and enjoy my content, you know what to do, and I'll see you all in the next video.